Today we're going to do a topwater walking lure from Sugar Tit Custom Lures. This lure is about three and a quarter inches long and uses five millimeter eyes. I've been thinking about doing a minnow design and I think I'm going to do one with a stripe down the side. I also think I'm going to try to use maybe a, a goldish or copper for the top. We'll start off using opaque white for the base. I'll then go over the lure with an iridescent pearl, which is kind of like a silvery white that glistens and has some kind of uh, shininess to it. I'm going to try a few coats of this iridescent gold across the top. As I'm painting, I'm realizing this isn't a very strong color, so I may have to resort to another color for the top at some point. I'm going to use a stencil I made out of cardstock and use the shading gray to create the stripe across the middle of the lure. I'm holding the stencil a little bit away from the lure. Doing this will allow me to get a line that's not too sharp. To make the top a little darker, I'm going to use some pearl copper. With some opaque red and a cardstock stencil, I'm going to highlight the gills under the gill plate. It's time to super glue the eyes in place. My super glue container's nozzle broke, so I'm kind of using a toothpick here and just trying to get what I can out of the container.
Now it's time to mix and apply the epoxy clear coat. I make an educated guess about how much I'm going to need. For these droppers, I do about four lines for a lure this size. I'll slowly mix the epoxy for about five minutes and try to avoid any bubbles. The lure spins for about three hours and will dry for 24. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.